you've been watching the morning mix, you may have seen one of our discussions about dram shop law that deals with the liability of bars when people leave if they get into injuries caused by alcohol. But what about all of us who are hosting holiday parties and we're serving alcohol? What's the liability for us? What do we need to know? Well, we've got the expert with us. We've got Tom Simus, Simus Dramus Law Firm with us to talk about social host liability. So Tom, tell us what that means and how that's different than dram shop law. Well, thanks, Michelle. It's kind of a funny word. They're both kind of funny words, social host and dram shop. And the way to think of them, I think most simply, is kind of how you mentioned in your introduction. Dram shop is kind of this old term that we still use to refer to the specific state statutes that deal with liability for what we would call retail licensees, meaning those people who are licensed by the state to sell alcohol. Of course, obviously, bars, restaurants, and liquor stores. But as you mentioned, there are other circumstances where people are drinking alcohol at other people's homes. And in many of those circumstances, the people who own the home or are hosting the party are providing alcohol to others. So we're not talking about a dram shop law in that case, because in those situations, you're usually not dealing with someone who's licensed to sell alcohol. But we do have a separate set of Michigan statutes and then some what we call common law principles that apply or can apply liability in certain circumstances involving social hosting. Now here what we're really talking about is alcohol for those people who are underage. So the kinds of liability that we're talking about here pertains to situations where people who are not 21 are consuming alcohol at someone else's home. That's the basic difference. So we're talking about minors getting access to alcohol. So talk about what, what the criminal penalties are should those kids get into the liquor cabinet and get into trouble. It's a great question. There are criminal penalties for various circumstances where underage children or underage adults are consuming alcohol, and it depends on what happens. Well, it's a misdemeanor, meaning it's a crime, if the owner of a premises knowingly allows a minor to consume or possess alcohol on their premises. So if you own a home and you know that underage an underage person is consuming alcohol, that's a misdemeanor crime. It's punishable by as many as 30 days in jail and a monetary fine. But what happens if the situation becomes a bit more serious? Meaning what if someone is actually furnishing alcohol to a minor at their home? Well, that is also a crime, and it starts as a misdemeanor crime. That is, it's punishable by up to 60 days in jail and a more significant monetary fine if you are furnishing alcohol to a minor. Now, there the most common situation would be if a uh, minor is at your home and you're actually providing them the alcohol, that is a crime. It does, however, get more serious in the event that the minor who consumes the alcohol should, heaven forbid, die as a result of the consumption of the alcohol, or as the statute says, a direct and substantial cause of death. If the consumption of the alcohol furnished by the homeowner is a direct and substantial cause of the minor's death, then that conduct is a felony. And it is a felony that is subject to imprisonment for up to 10 years and a monetary fine. So we have some very significant criminal penalties that follow these type of situations. And I think, of course, the bottom line there is do not allow minors to access alcohol at your home. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, very, very serious stuff. And beyond the criminal, what happens with the civil liability, you know, if these kids are, are you're providing alcohol to children and young adults? Yes, there is a potential civil liability in this realm of what we call social host. And again, we're talking here about circumstances where people who are not of age consume alcohol. And the most common type of scenario where there would could be civil liability for the homeowner who is furnishing the alcohol uh, is when, let's say, the underage, uh, the underage person leaves the party, goes out, drives, and injures or kills someone else. In that circumstance, uh, the person that furnished the alcohol or allowed the underage person to access the alcohol could very well face a, a civil lawsuit against the person who, excuse me, brought by the person who was injured or killed. 
And you can imagine that could be a very significant uh, monetary matter as well. And the other question there that people should ask themselves if that happens is do they have the adequate insurance? And there, I would encourage people to check their homeowner's insurance uh, to make sure that things like this are covered. Although, of course, you shouldn't have to check in the sense that hopefully people will not engage in type of decisions that result in minors being allowed to access uh, alcohol at social gatherings. Yeah, I think that's kind of the bottom line there. <laughs> let's, let's not break the law, right? <laughs> so, that's right. Um, so Tom, if people want more information, what do they need to do? Well, they can find us online at www.sinusdramus.com. They can give us a call at 616-301-3333. They can shoot us an email at info at sinusdramus.com.